Greetings, everyone. <laughs> we have a very, very, very interesting episode today. It's been a, it's been an absolutely great new year. I have killed many people. This has just been a great year for Asperger. Now, isn't it actually? Let's us. It's an old year. Let's celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing here? Are you intending to blow up this entire planet? Well, you're the one with TNT in your hands, buddy. <laughs> I'm just helping because I'm the explosive expert and I love watching stuff explode. That's what makes me an expert. I guess that's true. I guess that's true. <laughs> we're, we're only destroying the planet. We're not, we're, not destroying the, we're not destroying the entirety of the galaxy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're not really destroying the planet either. Maybe like a few chunks will survive, and like a guy will be on the chunks. Still building just, a house or top. Just of a few chunks. <laughs> we're not destroying everything. We aren't completely. <laughs> yep, yeah, we're not. Yeah, we're we're gonna leave one survivor, so we cannot be blamed for true genocide. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that the definition? So long as one survivor is left, it's not really genocide. <laughs> <laughs> there are exceptions to mass. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh. Wait, just, just, just keep going. Yeah, just keep <laughs> pressing right click furiously. It's Paul, think about this like Overwatch, except right click has been replaced with left click. Right click, right click. <laughs> Wait, you mean you mean left click has been repla re replaced with right click? Replaced. <laughs> yes, it's been replaced, Paul. It's been replaced everything. With TNT! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. How about we actually start filling the valley? We are filling the valley! We want to cover as much ground as possible, huh? That's true. That's true. Alright, I'll, I'll start I'll start expanding outwards. We have to change the definition of valley to mean and 50 miles of land surrounding the giant track. This will this will be just such a huge explosion. Just such a huge explosion. We cannot be, but still, we can say this. We left one person alive, so it's not true. Well, he might not survive. I mean, I, do, I don't think I discussed the odds with you of his survival, but like, I was testing it in the lab. Yeah, I'm afraid to say he's definitely gonna die. Oh, oh, wait, so you're saying you're gonna charge us with true genocide? Dang it, now we're gonna lose about 50 pieces of TNT. I mean, he'll survive as a head for like one second. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. He'll survive as a head? Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> really, the one part of his body that's left is the head? <laughs> well, hey, I mean, he was alive for a second, and then blood loss killed him. It wasn't us, it was blood loss. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they just won't deal with us. Maybe they just won't deal with us because they'll think we're the we're the Vogon from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <laughs> they'll think we're just the Vogon and they'll think, oh, so they were assigned to kill the planet. Okay. This amount of explosives does bring up an interesting question. How much do you think Wild E. Coyote paid for all of the stuff he used to try and catch the Roadrunner? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Must have been a number in the millions. Yeah. <laughs> he got at least 500,000 animals. And that is a lot of material. No, it's just... Alright, just, just, just keep going. We're recovering all the land. All the land. Just like just cover just cover like one block. If we could cover one block. You know what's an excellent idea, Paul? What? I should set your game mode to survival as soon as I light off the TNT without telling you. How about this? How about we both be on survival as soon as the game as soon as it starts? Uh I didn't say anything by the way. Um, yeah, yeah, I didn't say anything. We'll just be exterminated. That we're, we're only going to be exterminated, not blown up. I'm interested to see how far your body actually flies in the two seconds that your body can be airborne. Actually, no. But you know what we do? 
we simply stand on the ground in creative mode and see how far and see how far up our bodies are launched. <sighs> that that sounds pretty good as well. There's so many brilliant things we can do with this amount of TNT. The, the possibilities are endless. Yeah, they really are. It's like the power of maybe 50 atomic bombs. 50 atomic bombs. Uh, no, I'd, I'd say by the end of this, it might be like maybe 200. Okay, good. I, I wanted to make sure it was nothing less than a thousand. Yeah. Yeah, if it, if it was more than a thousand, we might have actually had more than two pieces of TNT taken away. And that, and that just would have been way too much. Okay, this place is definitely looking a lot more red than yellow, I'll say that much. What do you mean? What do you mean? It's, it's not like we're dooming the land to a, to a fate worse than death. The sand has turned into dynamite. <laughs> yeah. Speaking, of course. Well, this is like the ultimate defense on the battlefield. It's like, you just like one mine, and they all and they don't all go off at the same time. One person has to trigger this it. This is what the... Yeah, this is what the government has prepared um, in case of the zombie apocalypse. I mean, it would be effective. <laughs> it would blow up the entire planet. Well... Well, they would just simply take a rocket ship, go down to the last crater the planet even has to offer, and then re and then, re and then start going again. You know what I love the thought of? What? Overkill. Using an explosive that would destroy the entire Earth to take out one zombie. <laughs> I think that's all we have to do. We'll spawn a zombie in the middle of this nest of TNT, um, with you, of course, in survival mode. I mean, I mean, you in creative mode, just come up in the sky and save me. And, and then light it off. If I'm in, if I'm in survival, you are dying immediately. <laughs> no, you are, I mean, you'll be safe. You'll be completely safe. Um, you forget that I have, that I have the power to respawn. The zombie sadly doesn't, but I have the power to respawn, and that's all that matters. Just keep telling yourself that. You gotta say it's uh, I'm on hardcore, so I can't spawn, aren't you? No, I would never do that. You are such, you're going to be such a dead man if you do that. Well, I want to set a good precedence for the New Year fall. I mean, I want to give a good example for myself in the two seconds that the New Year is done. Give a good example for yourself? In, in what way would you do that? Um, guess. I'm not going to. Well, then you probably already know. Because I'm pretty uh, sure it'll involve in killing some people immediately. Shouldn't you at least wait, like, maybe an hour before doing that? What the heck do you think all this TNT is for? Alright, go, go, go. Keep going, keep going. We saw- we have an entire planet to exterminate here. Yes, we do. I'm just making sure to get this mountain good and covered up here. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm yes, doing? yes, I see- yes, I see it. Good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're discovering this one little boulder. It's not going to be existing. Yeah, oh. uh, it's a boulder. Might as well leave it. Might as well leave it. No. See, uh, see how long it takes to see how long it takes to completely destroy it. Yeah. Let the lad throw with TNT. Okay, Paul. I think. Um. I think. I think it's time. No, it's not. It's not. We ha It hasn't no. been thirty minutes. We have to keep going. <laughs> I know, but my parents are probably going to get me off the computer in a second to go do the New Year's thing that we always do every year. So, so I think, yes, I feel it. Paul, now is the time. Give me a moment. Like, literally a moment. I need to do one more row. Oh, oh I, I feel it in the air. Presence. A presence yes, is coalescing. Yes, Please exactly. spawn the zombie, Alan. The zombie, why don't you do it? Because I'm I'm a bit lazy today, actually. Okay, give me a moment. I'll be I'll be right back. Do not do not say that again. Okay. All right. Okay. The singular zombie has come to watch the apocalypse begin. Oh no! What have you done? 
There it goes! Oh my gosh! Oh my god! 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 Um, let's say the hell. Um, no, actually, you're dead. Um, um, can I please be set to sur to survival and then get tell? I mean, to creative and then get teleported to the location. I I have crashed. <laughs> you crashed. <laughs> oh my, oh my well. gosh. <laughs> I think that's all for me, Paul. You have a good new year. Wait, 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 wait. Could you please just come back in really quick and set it to create if I want to see the damage? <laughs> oh, very well. <laughs> Give me just a second. Why is this just a second? Because, you know, I was kind of blasted out of existence there. Oh, how badly were you blasted out of space? I think Did I you know. actually hit the sun? Hit the sun and then incinerated instantly. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm respawning now. It's gonna take a minute because my computer's still on fire, but uh, I. I spat yeah, on I can fire. see why. Yeah, I spat on the fire, so it should be fine. <laughs> It'll go out eventually. The moisture. Yeah, I'm sure. Moisture this in is... the air. Oh my gosh, I'm so. I'm actually. I actually cannot wait to see it. Well. You just waited a second, so... Okay, just, 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 just... <laughs> creative mode, and I need to see... Oh creative. my god. Game mode, one. Why do I feel like we... Oh, <laughs> oh my... <laughs> oh my gosh! There was a valley here! There's no longer a valley! <laughs> It looks like it looks like just literally another planet just came down upon this poor valley. No. I I hope I've set a good uh precedent for the new year. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to go now to kill myself. You know the drill, basically. I gotta kill myself every so often just to maintain peace. All right. Let's see. All right. Everyone. I really hope you had a very, very wonderful 2017. Now, as the end of my 2017 approaches, I shall survey the once glorious, the, the once glorious valley of death, now a literal ash pile. Well, I guess needless to say, the monster died. But that was one where I think my computer barely handled it. <laughs> like, I was literally lagging so much to a point where I was- where I thought I saw the void, actually, for a second. I was just exploded that much. Well, I guess we now know what the moon looks like, because I visited it for, for how long- large of an explosion it was. Here, let me start let me start inheriting some life into this. This thing needs to have life. I might as well drop a few items into it. Now down we go. Need to start cleaning up and oh my gosh, I just it's like, well, um, let's just say we might have fallen. Let's see, how many, how many more do I need to take care of? And by the way, yes, I will be uploading quite a bit more as I rudely forgot, yep, forgot, to do some Christmas stuff. So I'm going to take care of that while, while, well, basic, basically while the week, while the week, 
while the week's going on. So until then, I really hope you enjoyed your new year, and you're going to watch me work for about maybe another week. As I just need, I just need to make this look like a somewhat respectable crater. I just can't stand this, I just can't stand this being an unrespectable crater. Let's, let's take care of the crater. Crater restoration. Alright. There we go. So many people have died to this. We killed a whole 50. You see, this planet wasn't really a one. All right, this is the new landmark. Now, still a lot more to do. Well, we'll just take care of that later. I'll just turn this into a quarry. All right, we have our next survival series. Until next time. Bye bye.